Hey everyone, Loomis here, and I am back with another Langrisser Mobile video. So I am going to cover the Mercenaries for this week. Now, I know it is the first week of Season 3 playoffs, and you are unable to use Mercenaries in playoff rounds. However, you still can use them in scrimmages, and I've had a lot of feedback from people asking me to do the Mercenary review anyways, uh, because they appreciate the insight um, or comments on character builds or, or whatnot. So... I will continue to do this series through the playoffs and uh, give the people what they want. So uh, without any further ado, we will start with a five-star Rachel here. Now this Rachel is okay. It's really not that great. It has quite low int. Um, you know, 840-ish int is not very high at all. It does have, you know, decent enough AB and PVP enchants. So it does have that going for her. Um... The equipment choices I think are fine, although I'm really not a fan of True Cross. And I think that Magic is not a great enchant on Rachel. I personally think that she really can only run Breeze, otherwise she's way too slow in PvP. Um, so, you know, just kind of keep that in mind if you want to use her. She's very low int, and she's using a accessory that increases her damage, basically, on a low base. Um, she does have her 3C at least, uh, and is fully ruined, so she does have that going for her, but, you know, she does have some limitations. Uh, next we have a 5-star Leaden here, and, you know, this Leaden has, you know, actually pretty good AB enchants, but no PvP enchants. Um, its equipment is good, it has everything but the last rune, um, but, you know, it's a 5-star Leaden, um, nothing particularly special about this Leaden, to be honest. Um, I, yeah, I really don't have much more to say on it. Um, it's, it's a let in in PVP. So if you're using a let in and this one's stronger, uh, in your scrims, uh, go ahead. But otherwise it's absolutely nothing special. If anything, it's, it's maybe even a little below average, uh, especially cause it has no PVP in chance. All right. We have a six star burn here. Uh, once it loads, and the first thing you'll notice is that even though this is a rough seas attack based burn, it only has 865 attack. That is terrible for a six star. That is embarrassingly low. Um, I don't know what's going on here. The AB enchants are not are okay. No PVP enchants. Uh, it's uh, is it missing a rune? I think it's missing a rune. No, I think it has all of its runes. It might be missing a rune. I don't know. Top of my head. It does have Apex Boots at least. Um, you know, it has the meme carbon fiber armor and helm, seal guardian. Like, there's just really nothing good about this burn, uh, besides the fact that it's six star. Uh, incredibly weak attack. It's not even bulky. This is the lowest HP I think I've ever seen on a burn. Whatever its enchants here. Um, that's an okay enchant, I guess. Uh, this is a terrible enchant. Uh, this is. Uh, it's below average. And then, oh, this is a garbage enchant. All right, so yeah, just this this has absolutely terrible enchants on it. It's rough seas, no balance blade. It's gonna have no range, low attack. This is a this is one of the worst birds I've ever seen. Uh, I would stay away. All right, now I have a six star Leon, and you know this Leon, it doesn't have great attack. Uh, it's what is it one thousand six hundred and uh, one thousand sixty nine. Which is kind of low for a Leon, to be honest. Um, it does have... Whoa, I've never seen 5 and 4. I've never seen single-digit rolls on AP enchants before. <laughs> um, these enchants are okay. They're not great. Uh, they're just okay. And equipment-wise, it's fine. The Balance Blade would be a lot better, but it does have a 3C. Yeah, you really want the Balance Blade uh, if you're going to run this one. Um, you know, this Leon is fine. Um, it's nothing special. It, it's just kind of a average Leon. All right, now we have a six-star Tiaris, and this Tiaris is actually legitimately good. Um, it has, you know, good AB enchants, and it has pretty good... Actually, the these are... Oh, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good for uh, PvP enchants. Uh, I like all the equipment choices. Now, a lot of people run Teddy Bear on Tiaris, but I think Goddess Tier is an equally acceptable option. Uh, because she really struggles with the debuff removal. And, you know, I don't love... I, I prefer uh, Tenyo's over uh, Yigi uh, Reef, but Yigi Reef definitely works for her. Uh, stats are pretty decent. 
uh, for Crystal. Um, I actually uh, think this is a pretty good TRS. So if you're going to do some scrims, um, I would highly recommend checking this TRS out. Uh, has her runes. So yeah, no, this TRS is pretty strong. Uh, this is uh, one of the better mercenaries I think we've uh, ever seen. All right, now we have a six star level 69 nice Narm. And this Narm is garbage. Uh, this is one of the lowest attack Narms I've ever seen. No HP. Uh, it's running an Uller's Bow, which is trash with this level of attack. It's going to do absolutely no damage. It is fully ruined. Um, so its best use is as a sprint bot because it's going to survive nothing too because it has a Twilight Armor, not a Last Rites. Uh, just stay far away from this Narm. It is not good. Uh, let's just check its... Uh, okay, so AB enchants are bad. Um... Weird to see that it has this bad AB enchants, but the PvP enchants are actually kind of built out. Uh, that's kind of funny. Um, but no, this is a bad Narm. Stay away. Alright, now we have a 6-star Vargas here. And this Vargas is not terrible. Uh, it's running 2 plus 2 blue. So even though it's running 2 plus 2 blue, I would think this defense would be a little bit higher. Its HP is a little bit low, but I do like, outside of the helmet, it does have, I think, good... Um, equipment choices here. It is missing the armor pierce. Um, so it's missing the third T2. Uh, let's see. It's okay. So, okay. AB enchants, no PVP enchants. I don't think this Vargas is particularly great. Um, but I guess if you're running a Vargas and this is stronger than yours, um, it's not a bad Vargas. It's just not super. Um, there's nothing really special about it. Um, and there's no PvP enchant, so just remember that, you know. Hmm. All right, uh, now we have a six-star Freya here, and to kind of, you know, put it in comparison, the last Vargas was two, two plus two blue, and obviously has a higher defense base than Freya, and this Freya almost has more green defense with, uh, just hard rock. So, that should kind of highlight how, you know, that Vargas has a lot of room to improve on on the defense side. Now, I would say that outside of King's Amulet, I think these are all good uh, equipment choices for Freya. It, again, has, you know, okay AB enchants and zero PvP enchants, uh, sadly. And it is ruined. Uh, so that is pretty good. It's missing the, the last uh, T2 for the Unicorn Knight. But, uh, or, yeah, Unicorn Knight. Um, but this Freya is decent. Uh, if you want to practice kind of using Freya, she does have an interesting place in the PvP metagame with kind of her fixed kit. Now, there's a number of things that counter it, but, you know, if you find an opponent when you're scrimming um, who is not prepared to fight a Freya, uh, it can go very badly for them. So just keep that in mind. All right, we have a six-star Sonya here, and the first thing you need to know about the Sonya is there's no 3C, so this Sonya is useless. Um, it has very low attack. Uh, 808 attack is nothing for Sonya. Um, running Blue Star, which I think is terrible. Why are you not running her unique? Uh, Horror Helm, the Lone Star is actually not bad. Um, terrible roll on it, though. Um, you know, below average AB enchants, no PvP enchants. There's absolutely no reason to run this Sonya. Uh, leave it in the Merc box and do not put it in yours. All right, last, for some reason, we always get a Letitia, like, almost every week. And like all the other Letitias that have ever been on Merc, this one's also trash. Um, do not use this whatsoever. If you're going to use Letitia, just build your own. Because I promise it will be better. Does it even have a chance? Oh, it does. Wow. Okay. So, it has... Uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, okay to... Average to maybe slightly above for AB. And, you know, just okay PvP enchants. Um... Well, it does have that going for her, but yeah, no, this is not a great Letitia. Just build your own if you're going to use one. All right, so uh, to kind of summarize it, uh, the Mercs this week, outside of Tiaris, are pretty bad. Uh, Tiaris, I think, is legitimately good. Um, otherwise, you know, the Vargas and Freya aren't terrible. I think the Freya's a little bit better than the Vargas, but those are kind of the only two I could see being kind of usable. The rest are all pretty bad, especially the Burn, especially the Narm, especially... The Sonya is one of the worst I've ever seen. Um, Alright, so that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you guys have any uh, questions or anything you want to say about these mercenaries, please let me know in the comment section below. Alright, thank you guys so much, and I will see you again soon.